Good morning guys. I'm going to do a plan with me video using the large happy planner and some of my printables. So I'm here on my blog and I'm just going to scroll down and find one that I want to use. And I already decided that I want to use this one, the paper dolls one. So I went ahead and downloaded it and printed it. Now let's get started. Okay, let's get started. I use my make sure everything's in frame. All right, I'm using my happy planner in my Martha Stewart cover. And this is what I've been using for a while. I have the rose gold lavender discs on here and I love it. So you know what, let's just do a little flip through real quick um, before I get to the planning. Now on the inside cover, I have the cover of the Happy Planner, because I like that. And then I made a dashboard using one of the back covers to the small Happy Planner, and I just glued those on there like that. These are some DIY post-its that I made, and there's uh, inst uh, instructions on my blog about doing that. Here's now before the happy planner starts in July, this Martha Stewart binder came with some blank sheets of paper. So I DIY'd some pages so I could use it up until July. So this was just the cover that I had made for it. Now this this is clipped here until my current week. This is what my current week looks like. And I used a lot of these because I sh I have a video. No, I don't have a video, I have a post on these stickers that I made with labels. And I'm telling you, I've used so many of them because here on my Monday for, for, the, for tomorrow, I didn't like the way it looked. So I went ahead and used my stickers and just covered it all up. See? So I have a wedding to go to on Thursday. So I have their invitation here. And um, it's my daughter's birthday this weekend, and also Father's Day, so I have her birthday all decorated for that. This is what next week looks like, and I'm still in my DIY pages. And the week after that, and then here on the 30th is my um, stepson's birthday, and he'll be eight, so I kind of decorated that for him. All right, and then we get to July. And here's my monthly layout for July. Okay, and then that's my first week, second week, and all these are on my blog. All right, this one is called um, Vintage Bluebird. This is Barbie. This is the LV. Okay, this is Chanel. This is Yorkie, because I have three little Yorkies. Actually, I have two and a half Yorkies. <laughs> A Yorkie, a Yorkie, and she's Maltese and Yorkie. So I have two and a half Yorkies. That's my girl. Okay, then in August, here's my layout, my monthly layout for August. Okay. Then my first week in August is my Beatles layout. And that's on my blog. This was just a hodgepodge. I think I was I downloaded somebody else's printable of these old tags and I just kinda I don't think I was feeling too inspired this week. When I was decorating. And then they, again, this is just a hodgepodge of things. These are my Keurigs for my blog, a um, couple of tags, washi, picture of myself. Oh, I know what I did. I tried to, I ran the, um, my page, I took the page on, I ran it through the printer. So I put weekend on there. I think I was going to do it for the whole thing and I decided against it. So this is the week we're going to, we're going to work on. This is August 22nd through the 28th. But let's just, I, that's all I have decorated as far as weekly is concerned. Here's my September layout. Okay. Now, in September, football starts. So I made little stickers with all the football games that we go to. Now, see, my husband's a Cowboys fan. So we go to all the Cowboy home games. And I'm a Steelers fan, so I just put their little games in there as well. So here's October, my birthday. Um, and these printables here, these stickers, are also on my blog. They're called monthly, what are they called? Monthly blocks. And I have a theme for each month. Okay, so here's November. And you get it, you get enough to cover the days that are before and after. The, you know, like the 1st and the 30th or the 31st. 
That's November. Okay, so here's December. And December was kind of over the top. I stuck something on every page just because, you know, December's over the top in my house anyway. And then that's it. So January, I made, um, I decided to make little birthday blocks. And I, so I went through the whole year and I stuck those birthday blocks on there. So there's a picture of Katie because it's her birthday there. And there's me just because, <laughs> and my son. Yeah. So there's there's not much more to look at after that because I think they're just my birthdays. Tabs in there. Okay. So let's get through the end here. All right. Let's see how this goes. Okay. So I have it after my whole month is over. My month is over. I have a travel tab. And in here, like I said, we go to the Cowboys games. So I I just did this in a Word uh, table. And I put the weeks, the dates, who they're playing, and the time of the game. And then who's going with us, because we have four tickets. So we always take somebody with us. So who's going with us, and then our travel information here. And then on the back, I did the same thing for the Steelers. Although we're only going to... See, these don't hold. These Martha Stewart ones don't really stay in very well. Um... We're only going to one Steelers game in Pittsburgh this year. Because we live on the West Coast, so it's it's hard for us to get out to the East Coast all the time. So um, I believe we're going to go to the Cowboys-Steelers game. I can convince my husband on that one. <laughs> and then here's my shopping tab. Now these printables are available on my blog as well. And it's called Online Shopping. And I just put the date, the store I bought it from, what I bought, how much I spent, and then I check mark whether I received it or not. So here's my reset girl, mid-July, and then haven't got that yet. So, it's just, and I kind of keep track a little bit. Then that's it. And then in the very, very back is where I store, and I, I keep some stickers with me because when you're, I take this planner to work, and when I'm at work, if something has to change, I can just use these to cover up. Their address, labels, some randoms, and that's it. And I don't... It comes with a pen loop, but I don't really use that, so. All right, let's get to decorating. Where did I say we were? I said we were in August, right? Oh, boy, I don't need that. Let's get that out of the way. All right. There we go. All right. So let's just go ahead and take it out of the book just to make life easier for us. I'll put that away. Make sure you're still in frame. Yep. I'm doing good, guys. I'm doing good. Okay. I know as long as I stay on my placemat, I'm good. <laughs> All right. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out, cut out my printables. And I'll fast forward this so you guys aren't bored sitting here watching me cut out my printables. Now, one thing you to know is that it depends on where the backing is on your stickers. All right, mine's here in the corner. Okay. So, I will cut them like this. Okay, and then if the cut was in the middle this way, all right, I would cut it down the middle. And you, so, you don't, so you don't have to cut them out individually and then have to pick at each one. I go ahead and, well, you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. Sorry. All right, so let's fast forward this. done. 
That is such a task. And there's really two simpler ways of doing it, and I'm, I'm just showing you one, and I'll probably make videos showing you the other. But one um, is really just to print it on paper. And you can either run it through your Xyron, and I'll, I'll do a video doing it that way, your sticker maker, or um, using a glue stick. Because that way it's easier to cut them all out without having to deal with all the sticky. See? <laughs> okay. So let's just get that out of the way. And let's get started. Okay, so I have all my, my stickers cut. And what I do is the decorative ones that don't have, where you can't really write on them, I'll lay those out mostly on the bottom because by the end of the day, I'm, I'm done. Okay. And um, I'm going to use this Project Life card. And I usually put a Project Life card over here on the weekend that I glued down because... You know, I don't do a lot of, if I'm planning anything, it's usually, I'll just usually notate it up here in the top part. So I kind of use the bottom for memory keeping, pictures, things like that. So let's just glue this down right there. Okay. And then we're using the decorative ones, like I said, towards the bottom. Staying in frame. Okay, here's one that has room for writing. So let's put that a little higher up. Oops, we'll put her about right there. Okay. And we have another run that has room for writing. So we'll put her about right there. And this gal, let's put her here. There nicely, and this gal, I like her. Let's put her here. And here's the both of them. Uh, let's let's do that like about right there. Okay. Then these little half page. Oh, I forgot to cut this one. This little half page. All right this one up here. I have a staff meeting every Monday morning, so we'll put that there. And then oh, let's just put that. No, I don't want to put it too close to that one, so we'll put it let's put it over here. Okay. It's good. Then we've got um, this little mini page flag. So put that there. And then another little half pager. I'll put her there. Oops. Okay. And another half page. And we'll put her. Let's put her. Let's do something over here. And I make weekend banners because I know uh, a lot of people like them. But to me, they're hard to cut out. And I know when the weekend is. You're a doll. Let's stick you right there, Miss Doll. Right, so what else we got left? All right, we have this one. I'll just put this down here because the white will blend in nicely. I always leave room for my washi tape that I run across the bottom. And then the little coat, little paint in the butt coat. Let's just put that right there. Okay, so that's all the stickers. Now, Let's, the washi that I picked to use for this one is this floral. Um, I don't. I think this is probably a Michael's floral. I'm sure. Okay. And I use. Sorry. I just use a gift card like everybody else. So let's cover the bottom. And on this side, I like to go all the way to the edge. And I stop at the line. Now, if you ever look at my printables that have, um, I put like little washies on the bottom. They're designed perfectly to fit from here to here. The smaller one fits from here to here. And the larger one fits from here all the way to here. 
And I only make them if I feel like the theme really calls for it. Because if you're like me, you like to use your own washi tape. There we go there. And then I'm going to use my ring of mini washies. And I think I've, I might try this yellow and this yellow and uh, red hearts, maybe. Sometimes you kind of have to pull them out to see what they really look like. I change my mind. This one's cute. All right, let's try this one instead. Yeah, I like this one. All right, so I just take a big hunk of it and start. All right, let's get that out of the way. Get out of the way. All right, and I just start laying. And I don't um, plan, like I know people talk a lot about what do they use each box for. I just blend them all together. I have no rhyme or reason to how I do things. Um, I'm not that methodical. I think as long as it's written somewhere in the date, I'm fine. Oops. Let's get over. Okay. Yeah, I like this one. I'm glad I went with this. Okay. And then sometimes, like this has a little bit of bleed through with this blue. I'll just go right over it. And if I have a piece that's long enough or actually has a whole word on it, I'll use it. Yeah, I try not to waste. Okay. Let's get some more going on this side. All right. Trying to, it was trying to stick to my washi tape here. All right. So let's just take this all the way over to our little gals. There we go. And then we have this big piece still. Okay. Let's just stick that right here at the bottom. We'll match the other side. Okay. And then we got a little piece. Wherever you go, oh, just not even really a whole word, huh? Okay, let's not use it. Okay, now I'm gonna get my little book of my little book of um, stickers, and let's see what we can add to it. Okay, so let's see. We can do this one matches. This one's okay.
think happy thoughts about my staff meeting. And I'm just gonna go ahead and handwrite that in. So we're gonna use our Stadler pens. Let's do it in pink. Staff, 8.30 a.m. Right. And that's all I really know what I'm doing so far because it's so, it's in August. No birthdays, nothing, no bills due that week, no payday that week. So, um, beauty is all around. That's cute because it's all these pretty girls. Where are we going to put you? Let's put you right there. Right. Now we're starting to get full, but I feel like I need something right here. So, ooh, this is good. How we spend our days is how we spend our lives. And then I have little baby. Little baby. Little baby. Where's my dinners? Oh, here's one. This is done. Does that look done to you? I think so. Let's go ahead and put it back. And often, also, what I'll, I will do is I'll put a project live card. Let me see if I can. Uh, do I have my punch? I do. Okay. I will have these large project life cards. And I'll punch one and I'll use it like a little mini dashboard for the week. So what I do is I get my, I have the little mini art punch, which I'm gonna get the Happy Planner one when it comes out. And I just punch it. Make sure it's straight, Laura. Make sure it is straight. Before you get to punching. There we go. I just slide it in there. Let's put it here. Isn't that cute? So, that's it. Alright, see you next time. Bye, guys.